Ashley and I'm a marine ecologist. I work for two different organisations, both related to the marine environment and marine conservation. I'm a researcher at the Dover Marine Laboratory for Newcastle University and I also work on the Wild Oysters Project. So the Wild Oysters Project is a new collaborative project between the Zoological Society of London, the Blue Marine Foundation and British Marine and it's funded by the People's Postcode Lottery Dream Fund. The aim of the project is to restore native oyster populations back to UK seas so that they recover to self-sustaining population levels where they can thrive and provide lots of different benefits. Locally here in the northeast, I work at the Tynan Weir Oyster Rehabilitation Hub which has the local delivery partners of Groundwork Northeastern Cumbria and the Environment Agency. So first let's go back to the beginning and talk about what oysters are, why they're important and why they need our help. So oysters are marine bivalves, which is a type of mollusk, and they have two shells that form a hinge to open and close. But what's really, really special about oysters is that they form oyster reefs. And oyster reefs are complex 3D structures on the seafloor made up of lots of oysters and old oyster shells that are stuck together. And these form habitats for lots of different species. So the crevices and gaps in between the oyster shells can form little hidey holes and shelter for um, marine crabs and fish species and juvenile fish. And then the actual hard substrate from, of the shells themselves form an area that epibionts can live. And epibionts are basically a living thing living on another living thing. So these can grow on the oyster shells to form really, really diverse communities so as well as providing habitat and promoting biodiversity, oysters also have lots of other benefits and provide lots of ecosystem services. One of which is how they clean our coastal waters. So oysters are filter feeders, which means they gather their food as small particles from the seawater. And during this feeding, they clean the water up to 240 litres per oyster per day. So oyster reefs were once really common in the North Sea, but we actually don't have any left at all here in the North East England anymore. They have actually declined by over 95% in the last 150 years in the UK, and it's due to a number of different factors, including overfishing, pollution, disease, and habitat loss. So now they're actually classified as one of the most threatened European marine habitats. So in oyster restoration projects, we have to overcome two main obstacles. The first is the lack of adults in the wild left to breed and reproduce. And then the second is the lack of substrate for them to settle on. So to overcome these challenges, our project has two main phases of oyster restoration. The first is to create oyster nurseries inside local marinas. And these are essentially cages that contain adult oysters, which will reproduce and release larvae, which are baby oysters, into the North Sea. So the plan is to, for us in the northeast to release three million larvae into the North Sea over the course of the three year project. But as well as this, the nurseries themselves boost biodiversity within the marinas and create really diverse communities in those areas. So now that we've solved the issue of the lack of larvae, we now need to find somewhere for them to settle. So they are quite fussy home hunters and they like to settle on areas of shell and gravel and they also like to be close to adults of the same species. So we need to recreate this habitat on the northeast coast so that they can settle and grow into mature reefs. So to do this we plan to add this material called culch which is old shells and gravel onto the seabed so that the oysters can settle there and grow into mature reefs.
three years we'll be working towards these goals of restoring native oysters back to UK waters both here in the northeast with the Tyne and Weir hub but also in our hubs in Scotland and Wales. You never know in 30 years time you might be able to eat a native oyster collected from a sustainable UK fishery. So over the next three years we will be working on these no so oh, I went too soon so up oh, and here in the northeast okay stop it <laughs>